viewers gonna be watching this like 10 to 15 people but yeah okay um, today I'm gonna show you a tutorial on GIMP on how to draw fur so basically I'm gonna what I'm, I'm gonna be doing it without a drawing tablet because I don't have one and I know many other people don't have them but there are people who are willing to draw and you know they just simply can't afford a drawing tablet so fur is pretty you know it looks complicated but it's quite simple once you know the right tools to use so what I'm gonna be showing you is gonna look something like this I drew this a while back and this one so the end result is gonna be like this if this is the type of fur you're looking for you can just keep watching if not you'll find a better tutorial okay so to begin with you just get a pencil here to lower size you can use the bracket key to lower the size of that and just outline the shape of you know whatever you're trying to paint in like in this case we'll do something like this one a tail or something you know just a rough sketch and remember i'm only using a mouse right i guess I'm, I'm gonna redraw that it looks crappy okay maybe oh my god yeah okay okay for the sake of this video let's just simple one it doesn't really matter god why am I screwing up okay yeah this looks about right okay so let's say this is a tail or something of some kind of mammal or whatever you're drawing I'm not gonna go on and do an entire drawing because it's gonna take too long but just the tail and I'm gonna show you how to basically paint in the fur so first thing you want to do is get the fuzzy select tool this tool is legit just your best friend it's the best tool out there in game it allows you to select an area of you know the same color so you can just paint that area without ruining the other side like let's say I'm gonna select this part and if I just paint in I'm gonna choose a brownish color again for the fur and increase that you know if you do this it's not gonna go outside so it really helps you when you're painting so I'm gonna go ahead and click the you know fill tool and just fill this in with the basic color that you're gonna be using in this case brown so now we go back to the brush tool and we're gonna select two different shades of you know the same color we're gonna go over here we'll take a darker one and a lighter one so that that depends on your shading of whatever you're doing okay so I'll take a darker one and you know start coloring a portion of it in a darker color once you're done with that you go back there and select the lighter version so you know there's a contrast between the colors and it isn't just too plain I just this just makes it look you know more realistic I guess and then in between you can choose like something that's in between these two colors like something that isn't the main color but isn't these two either something like in between okay that went a bit too far okay that okay a little bit darker maybe and 65 should be fine you know so like this and go back to the pencil thing and lower the size again using the bracket key and you know kind of shape out you know the waves and shit on the fur right so it looks pretty bad but it's gonna look good once you smudge it you just smudge to increase the size zoom in a little for more precision or whatever and start smudging it in the general direction of the fur like in this case it's going to be pointing out that way just keep doing that until you have all the colors just blended in it's going to take a few you know a few seconds okay so you can zoom in furthermore to make it you know more detailed I suggest you do that because otherwise it's just gonna look plain simple and make you look like a really lazy person well this tutorial is technically for lazy people who don't want to draw you know single strands of fur or something but yeah as long as it's simple and it works I guess it's fine it doesn't matter what way you use it's just up to you it depends on how much time you have if you have more time you can spend more time doing this you know just you can get your smudge tool a lot smaller and go in for a lot more detail 
but for the sake of this video I'm gonna keep it simple okay so that already looks pretty realistic but it doesn't really look like fur it kinda does but you know we need like to make it feel like there's actual hair strands on there instead of like plain colors mixed in together so I'm gonna back to the pencil tool select a really darker color and lower that and lower it about one the smallest size possible and paint in the general direction of the fur again like in this case it's gonna be pointing out here and over here it's gonna be you know this way just keep doing that make sure it's going the same direction as you want your fur to be going like you know you brush your hair and there's like little chunks there's a chunk going this way, a chunk going that way it's pretty much the same thing you're gonna do here I'm gonna be a little lazy here and eh, who really cares once you smudge it it's gonna look good okay so back to the smudge tool increase that and smudge it again as you can see it's gonna add a little bit more detail you know now it looks more like a hair strand instead of just plain mixed colors just keep doing that and make sure you blend in all of the lines cause a simple solid line on top of all of this is just gonna ruin the picture you know and make sure by the way when you're smudging it should be the direction you want the fur to be going like in this part of it I want it to go upwards like northwest if I'm right and in this case that direction so it looks like you know the fur is spread out as you can see the lines are going this way and over here is going that way so it just depends on you, the type of fur you're drawing or you know whether it's a tail it's the back of the neck or, or whatever you're drawing okay so this seems about right okay yeah it looks decent but you know yeah see I missed a little spot there you might you want to make sure that you don't miss little spots as this can you know completely ruin your drawing if you don't mind that you can just keep it it's up to you to be honest after all this is art and there's no perfect way of doing it everyone has their own way yeah there is no really a best way to draw fur it's just up to you how much time you have what you're comfortable with and this is pretty much my way of doing it okay now that we're done with that looks like we have we kind of have like strands of fur or something we go to the dodge slash burn tool and we're gonna lower the size again to the smallest possible or maybe a little more like two or something First we're going to take the dodge tool, burn tool, whatever you want to do first and do the same thing with it, the pencil tool. Okay that was pretty bad, okay we'll do it again. And here, I'm being a little bit too quick and not precise but if you're doing it, I suggest you slow down and, you know, make it a little bit more accurate. Since this is just a tutorial showing you how to do it, I don't really need to be accurate. But for you guys, I guess you do. Okay. Once you're done with that, take the burn tool and add some dark shades of it. So, you know, kind of the light and dark and whatever blends in to create a proper contrast. make it hard edged so it's more visible the hard edge is like right here alright back to the smudge tool use the bracket key to increase the size and start blending that into and that's starting to look pretty good I guess I know I'm not really a professional you know artist or whatever just do it as a hobby when I'm really bored have nothing else left to do I thought I'll just share it with you guys like this is another moment where I'm just bored and I have no idea what to do you know 
towards Easter holidays and yeah I've nowhere to go so yeah <laughs> okay so that already looks pretty great it looks like you know hair the hair on your head by the way not okay so back to the burn slash dodge tool I'm gonna burn this a little bit more I'm not hard edged just so that this part looks a bit more like this bottom one like this part looks just perfect it's beautiful okay and maybe a little dodge and yeah smudge it again you can just keep experimenting you know just keep on adding more lines keep on smudging it in until you find the perfect you know okay also the good thing about the smudge tool is you can just drag colors back you see this dark part you can make it like you can drag it out and make it a bit longer but this part so it makes it like you know it actually has strands and shit since I'm using a large size here it looks a little too blent in if you use a smaller one and drag the dark parts out onto the lighter ones they're gonna look a lot better like let's see this dark part here it's pretty solid and at the corner oh god what did I do okay you can just drag it a little bit out so it looks way better now maybe I should add a little bit of darker pencil lines over here because the bottom part just looks gorgeous but this part I'm not really satisfied with so I can just keep doing that until you find the perfect amount okay yeah that starts to look better not perfect but good enough I guess for this tutorial at least Okay, and then in the end you can take the brush tool and you know get the opacity low just make it like about 50% this depends on you how much you want you can take a dark color and start you know shading it so I want this part to be dark since it's the bottom and usually has all the shadows and stuff on it then I can take a really light one and actually you know brighten it up on the top you can also decrease the size of this to make like individual strand light things I think I'm gonna lower the opacity maybe about 40 nah 27 yeah it's about right and go back to the dark one and you know just darken this part a bit just to make sure it looks like actual you know fur I'm gonna increase it again I think and make this part look like a chunk you know there's like shadows between two chunks of hair since they're overlapping and you just keep doing that until you're you know satisfied with where you're going and maybe I'll just smudge it a little okay that's about right okay so now that you're done with that you want to get rid of this part the you know the black outline that we did so we go back to select select none so now we're allowed to actually you know edit out this part we're not gonna remove it because that's still gonna look like a solid shape and not actual hair but we're gonna smudge it into you know shape of fur you know keep on dragging it out make it look as furry as possible if that's how you say it and yeah that looks good I guess not perfect but I guess it's good enough yeah, I'll just drag this in a bit back okay So basically we just want to get rid of the hard edges and make it look you know smooth and all feathered like not really feathered but 
More like fur because feather refers to feathers, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Just keep doing that until you completely get rid of all the hard edges. So that should be about right. And you can smaller, you know, get a smaller size smudge tool and add the final touches. And I can get rid of these dark parts, these don't look really good at all. Seems like I missed a spot there. I'll just pull the black in and keep dragging in and out until you have perfect looking, you know, strands of hair. Over here you can see it's still a bit solid, so I can just keep doing this and make it look more like hair. There we go, we're done. This is basically as good as fur can get, on my level at least. So yeah, thank you for watching, whatever, whatever. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section and good luck with all your drawing. And thank you again for watch watching. Um, sorry, just screwed up a little there. You know, I haven't really uploaded anything in a while because I'm just out of ideas. I have no idea what to do. So I just thought I'll do a game tutorial since I started getting into art. I was always good at it, but then I was kind of lazy to actually do it. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you again next time. Goodbye.